So another YouTuber made an excellent video explaining Jerry Garcia's guitar playing. I just want to add some important points to the discussion for deadheads and for people critical of the Grateful Dead. Jerry Garcia of the Grateful Dead is one of the greatest rock guitars. In that May 1872 Dark Star performance, Jerry and the Grateful Dead create a unique ambient soundscape. Though technically Jerry may be noodling, the final product is what matters. And that final product is an excellent, timeless, improvised experiment with dissonance, time, space, and sound. There is no noodling. Every note serves a purpose in the final product. Moreover, when people say Jerry Garcia noodles, they seem to think Jerry plays too many pointless, directionless notes. Those people are mistaken. The truth is, Jerry plays more notes because he can. Listen to this 1984 version of Scarlet Begonia's Fire on the Mountain. Listen to how Jerry and his solo expand the harmony create new melodies on the spot, and weave around the pocket. are stuck shredding in their usual minor pentatonic and or major scale. Jerry is a master of the blues scale, the Dorian scale, and the Mixolydian scale. He combines all three. He is an expert blues, rock, Americana, and jazz guitars, all in one package, with skills in funk and traditional rhythm and blues sprinkled in between. Jerry is also a master of jazz-like chromaticism and chromatic so-called passing note runs. He is one of the first guitars to introduce the style of playing to a rock band setting. So yes, Jerry Garcia is a massively skilled, technically brilliant guitar player. But Jerry is also the best guitar player in the world at his specialty. And that specialty is voice leaning. What I mean by voice leading is that Jerry's understanding of scales in the guitar net allowed him to outline chord progressions in dozens of ways. Jerry often combined chord tones into melodic lines that embellish harmonies and that enhance and advance songs and chord progressions into new, innovative directions. Grateful Dead jams can be so lengthy yet still remain interesting because of Jerry Garcia. With his voice leading on guitar, Jerry constructs and improvises unrestrained, beautiful, limitless, intricate melodies. Moreover, Jerry can create harmonies in his solos that express the unique tonal qualities of an electric guitar. These same harmonies do not and would not flow as well when voiced by a piano or keyboard. They would either sound too staccato or too blocky. Another thing that makes Jerry so skilled at voice lead is his sense of rhythm and time. Yes, Jerry Garcia can play deep in the pocket like other famous legendary rock guitarists, but playing in the pocket is a prerequisite to being a great guitar player and not a sign of exceptionality. Jerry is an extraordinary guitarist because he is an expert at weaving in and out of the pocket. Jerry often goes from playing slightly ahead of the harmonic rhythm with his voice leading melodic lines and chord tone outlines to playing extremely deep in the pocket, as if the pocket extends down to one's socks and shoes. His solos often weave in and out ahead, behind, and deep inside of the 16th note groove pockets collectively established by the rest of the band. His solos transcend time and space. The notes often bounce at their own pace, as if springing from a trampoline that defies gravity. Jerry possesses an intricate, intuitive understanding of rhythm and time that wasn't limited to the so-called pocket. Yes, Jerry had his bad nights timing-wise, with flubs and missed changes, but he also had nights in which he meshes with the rest of the band so well that your face melts and your head explodes. He takes many rhythmic risks, yet still plays with a sense of time that is unlike any other so-called rock guitarist. <laughs> 